After winning over $500,000 the previous session, I'm looking to run it back and build off the momentum. This is another $50,000 buy-in playing high stakes cash in LA. This session has no shortage of big hands, big bluffs, and all-ins with complete air. Let's get into the mix. Hey guys, quick little interruption into this video to announce that I am officially a WPT Global Content Ambassador. Officially partnering up with WPT Global to kind of help advertise and tell you guys a lot of the cool features that's going on with this brand new website. Whole new different player pool and it's going to be a site that I'm going to be playing on a ton. So live streaming and all that fun stuff. So every single Sunday, there are three major tournaments. There's a mini slam slam and then the grand slam a 10 100 and 300 dollar tournament and if you win all three in a given month there is a one hundred thousand dollar bonus to the person that can accomplish this feat essentially like hitting the entire grand slam really cool promo for the website and it runs every single sunday so use the link down in the description below if you want to make an account use code rampage as a bonus code you'll get a twelve hundred dollar deposit bonus once you deposit up to twelve hundred bucks and uh, you also get some other perks and benefits as well, like free tournament tickets if you sign up today. So check out the website, wptglobal.com slash landing slash rampage, and I'll see you on there. Really excited about this partnership and looking forward to what's to come. The action's getting underway, and I'm certainly bringing all of it here with three, four of clubs in early position. I raised up to $200 with a pretty fun hand at $25.50. DQ three bets to $700, and action folds to me. Very disguised, happy to be tricky, and uh, yeah, we're going to gamble and see a flop. I make the call, and the flop comes jack, six, three, two spades. Check it over to DQ here, and he bets out $500. Well... I didn't play 3-4 suited to fold a pair, so I'm going to make the call again. And we're off to a turn, which is a bank 4. Yep, very disguised to pair here now, and I'm loving this card. I check. DQ bets 800. And here, definitely time to bump some more money into the middle when I get there. Right off the bat, I make the check raise to 2,600. Lovely spot here, of course. He's not going to be expecting me to have many two-pair combos, and... Uh, I want to just get called, and when my opponent does end up making the call, he has about $5,000 behind, so I'm certainly going to try to go for all of it on the river, which is an offsuit eight. Brick City essentially here. I'm trying to get called by all the overpairs of the world, so I am all in. Unfortunately, he quickly folds, so maybe he just had a missed flush draw, but anyways, not a bad start to the session, winning the first hand of the day. In the following hand, picking up ace-queen offsuit on the button. There's an early position open of 150. Hijack makes the call, and now the cutoff three bets to 500 on my right. So much action here in front of me before my eyes. I'm in the best position possible, which is the button here. So I decide to just make the call here, and here we are. The big blind and hijack both call. So four ways in a three bet pot. Let's see a flop which comes queen eight seven rainbow. Can't really ask for more here with a queen high flop sitting with, well, ace queen. Top pair top kicker here and the cutoff throws out a C bet of 1200. Never going anywhere. Happy to make the call. Everyone else ends up folding. So now heads up to a turn which is the jack of diamonds. Brings in a backdoor flush draw, and my opponent now decides to check, and I certainly expect my hand to be ahead here a lot of the time, besides, you know, some random slow plays that my opponent can have, whether it be pocket pairs, whether it be queen jack or a set. Let's pray he doesn't have one of those holdings. I bet $2,000 into the middle, a little bit of a small bet, but here we are trying to get called by worse hands, like king, queen, and you know, ace jack. Anyways, he ends up making the call, which is awesome news. And we're going to a river, which comes a seven. Board is paired now. And well, my opponent checks one more time. I'm a little bit mixed here, whether I want to bet or check. At the end of the day, let's try to eke out a little bit more value with my ace queen top pair top kicker. I throw $3,000 into the middle. Like I said, a little bit of a smaller bet since I don't know what I beat, to be honest with you. But he ends up side calling when he side calls, definitely good news for me, and I show the winner. My opponent ends up showing king-queen, which is a little bit of a cooler here. It's always nice to outpip my opponent. Moving on, picking up pocket jacks, the hand that everyone loves. On the button, there's a low jack open to 300. Hijack makes the call, cut off now three bets to $1,200, and what do you know? We, it's just action city at this table, and now action on to me. Jack seems like a pretty good hand, right? So I decide to four bet to 3,000. Action folds all the way around to the low jack player who now decides to five bet 
at 8,300. Oh, well, this is not a good spot for jacks. Nobody loves playing this, especially not in a five bet pot. I end up just letting it go and folding preflop, and my opponent's nice enough to show pocket aces. Had the best starting hand possible, and nice hand to Dave. You definitely got the better end of it here in this hand. Action has been crazy and nonstop, and it's not going to stop in this hand. Ace, king of spades in the early position. I raise it up to 300. Cutoff makes the call, and we get the button to 3 bet to 900. Small blind calls this 900 raise, and I'm thinking this is a very good opportunity to put in a squeeze re-raise. I 4 bet to 3,500. And action folds all the way back around to the button, and he says he needs to take a shot first before deciding what to do. What? All right, let Key take his shots, and he ends up announcing all in? Oh my god, what kind of sick tell angle? I don't even know what's going on here. It's an all in, and it's a big one of $26,000. What? Small one ends up folding, and man, this is a very big all in. Action's on to me here, and I think I gotta take some time to just feel this one out. I feel like I'm calling for a chop at best. And that's not a really good spot to be in. I mean, considering I only put 3,500 in, he's jamming for literally $22,500 more. All right, it's a friendly game. It's a, it's a freaking gambly game, that's for damn sure. So I didn't come here to fold. I toss in a call, and he shows ace, king of clubs. All right, a black runout would be very, very interesting, and we end up deciding to run it twice. Oh! oh. All right, let's go. Black. 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 Oh, you want to <laughs> run it out? Oh, we don't have to run. We don't have to run out. We can be friendly. We can be friendly. Max Payne, Max Payne, baby. Right there, Max Payne. There it is. Go. Who's gonna get it? Oh. Oh. Black. Black. Oh. Okay, one more time. I knew I had the winner. One more time. One more time. You all right? Black. Go. Max Payne. You should have been more specific, Ethan. Why did you say black? Come on. Yeah. Suited Superman celebrating like suited super baby. Brutal. I'm a little bit salty here, clearly, but got to say nice hand to my opponent. I get quartered here and I lose $13,000 this hand. After that massive flop happens, we have some fireworks. There's a $100 and $200 straddle on and I peel jack seven of diamonds on the button. Low jack opens up to 800. High jack makes the call and I'm in no mood to fold, clearly. Jack seven of diamonds, let's make the call, and we go three ways to a flop of eight, six, five, rainbow. Action checks it over to me here, and well, I'm open-ended. Let's get some chips going into the middle. I bet out $2,000 here, and I get the low jack player who originally raised. He ends up making the call, high jack folds. We're going to a turn, which comes a 10 of hearts. Brings in the back door flush draw, and my opponent checks once again. Here, I think I'm going to size up big. I can definitely check sometimes, and I can certainly bet really big, and I'm in no mood to check. You know, let's continue firing money in the middle. $5,000, I make it. And for $5,000, my opponent isn't scared. He makes the call one more time. Reroot, here we go to a seven of hearts. Huh. Not really the best card. I mean, I hit a pair, but this can't be good. My opponent checks with about $22,000 behind, and I'm just trying to maximize a fold. Yep, this is what I am thinking of. How can I win? I need my opponent to fold, and I'm going to make it as hard as possible for him. When I put in the rest of his stack, it's about a $22,000 all-in. It's certainly a big one, and my opponent isn't snap folding, which is maybe a good thing. I mean, he doesn't have the nuts at the very least, but... He isn't folding yet either, and it's a really big sweat until he finally ends up making a decision, which is a fold. Phew, nice to fade a call here. Nice to win this hand, even though I had a complete air ball bluff. Following hand is a little bit tame with no straddle on, but let's find the action. King, queen offsuit and plus one, I raise it up to 200. I get three players to make the call. We're going to a flop of jack, 10, nine, all clubs. All right, flopping a straight is cool, but I mean, not great when it's a monotone board. Action checks to Mariano on my left, and he bets out 300. Two of the players around make the call and back onto me. Certainly could check raise sometimes, but without a club in my hand, I decide to slow play, make the call. Turn comes the red ace, and when action checks to me here, I actually think that there's merit to betting. 
and leading multi-way on this turn. I mean, since no one raised on the flop here, I just don't expect anyone to have a flush. And I think this ace here will help me get a lot of value as well. Now I get called by just the naked ace of clubs. So I decided to throw out a bet of 1,000. DQ makes the call on the cutoff. And now the big blind player check raises to 3,700. This is certainly no fun here. I think this opponent especially is capable of bluffing. So hopefully he has the naked ace of clubs. I make the call, not gonna fold my straight just yet. And my opponent ends up folding. River now comes the deuce of hearts and my opponent throws 5,000 into middle. Gotta give this player some respect for bluffing. Gotta keep him honest. I make the call and my opponent shows ace five of clubs. Oh wow, that's a monster. Flopped the nut flush and slow played it. And uh, at least I was right. I thought he was gonna have the ace of clubs, but I didn't know it was gonna be followed by another club, which is a very strong hand. I lose this one here, unfortunately. All right, everyone here in this hand, we're playing the stand-up game. If you guys don't know, last person to win a pot ends up paying everyone a bounty. So I pick up king nine of spades on the button and there's a raise to 300. One player makes the call and I am bumping up the price of poker. I make it 1500. It'd be cool if everyone folds and I just get to take this one down, but no, not that easy. The original opener ends up making the call. We're going to a flop of jack, six, deuce, rainbow. Very dry board, shouldn't connect my opponent too much, so I bet 1,000 and, well, these plans get derailed. My opponent makes the call for 1,000, going to a turn which is an ace. My opponent checks one more time, and I think this card actually is a pretty good one to check back. A lot of my hands don't really love the ace, and I'm gonna pretend like I have a big hand. River now comes a queen, and my opponent leads for $2,000. And I think I'm gonna play some very strong hands this way if I had them like King 10, which is conveniently the nuts. So uh, unfortunate for me though, I have King 9 and not King 10, but let's try to pretend like I have King 10. I bet $8,000 raising things up here, 4 xing my opponent's river bet, and my opponent calls quickly with, with just eight deuce. Yep, that one's not gonna work. Gonna need to start winning again soon since I'm a little bit on a downswing at the past couple hands. We're moving on to a premium this time. Ace, King, and Diamond on the big blind with a $100 straddle on. There's an early position open to 500. Small bit makes the call, and with my premium, let's bump it up. I three bets to 2,500 here, and I get action. Early position player makes the call, and the small blind does too, because no one likes folding in this game. We're off to a flop of 754, two spades. Action checks the DQ, and he just announces an all in. Oh my goodness. What? This player in the small blind ends up folding and I want a count to make sure what's going on. And the dealer counts out $6,150 total. All right, fellas, look, I have ace king high and the last time I called an ace king high all in, well, I won a lot. So, um, you know, DQ has some gamble and he can certainly jam pretty light, lots of draws and not just one pair. So I'm sticking to the theme. I'm gambling as well and I make the call. We run it once as my opponent loves Max Payne. Turn comes a spade. That's that's just not a good one. River King, which gives me top pair, top kicker, but it's no good against my opponent's 10 deuce suited. Flush draw in a dream, and it gets there. Not fun for me making a light call with ace high, but little did I know I was actually ahead at the time. The game is only getting bigger with the action getting crazier. With a $200 straddle on, I have Jack 10 off suit on the button. There's one player who limps in and a cutoff raise is 600. I've been stuck so far today and losing every single pot. Let's just keep on getting the pots bigger. I three bet the 2000 and the cutoff player calls and we're off to a flop of eight, nine deuce rainbow. He checks over to me here and honestly, this is such a good board. I mean, I have two over cards. I have an open ended straight draw here. So I'm gonna bet 1500 and oh my goodness, my opponent check raises to 4,000. He is about $10,000 behind give or take. So not enough to just justifying a call, I don't think. So uh, I'm gonna play high variance. I have been losing every single pots and I have a very good draw. Let's get this one in there. I am all in as I can clearly have, you know, better hands, aces, kings, queens, and gotta have some weak hands too. So 
I am all in, and my opponent side calls it off with ace nine of hearts. Come on, dealer. I am literally losing every single hand getting torched. Need to hit this one. It's one time. Max Payne? Slow, 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 super <laughs> slow, 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 oh, straight. The run out comes brick, brick. So sad, so sad. Literally losing every single big pot today. And uh, yeah, my chip stack continues going down and my chips keep not coming my way. With everything going so poorly, well, well, there's a $100 shuttle on. So let's get strapped in with Ace Jack off suit. I raise it up to $300 and Mariano on my left, three bets to 1,000. Action folds around to me and we're gonna battle against our buddy here. I'm gonna make the call. Flop comes 10, eight, five, rainbow. I check it over to him and he bets $600. Certainly could just let this one go at this point because uh, you know, I don't really have much, but I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna be ambitious. I make the call. Turn now comes the three of clubs, brings in the backdoor flush draw, and action's gonna go check, check here. River comes a nine, which is somewhat of a perfect card to see because I'm holding a jack, I block some straights and stuff. Is ace high ever even good in this spot? Unlikely, so I'm going to blast, and I'm hoping to win. I blast out $3,000 here, and my opponent snippety snap calls, Mariano, you are a pain here, aren't you? I show my ace high and my opponent shows the jack 10. So um, yeah, that's what Mariano does. Three bets dominated and flops the best hand possible here against my hand. And uh, yeah, nice hand, sir. Nice hand, buddy. For one of the last interesting hands of the night, I've been getting torched so far, but I pick up ace, queen of clubs and the hijack. There's a low jack raised to 400 and I am bumping up the action to 1400. Mariano actually ends up making the call to my left and the low jack calls as well. So. Us three to a flop of 10, seven, six, rainbow. Just pretty bad cards and flop for me overall. So I check and action checks around. Turn comes the ace of spades now, and this is a pretty good card. Of course, you know, I have top pair, one of the better kickers available. And surprisingly though, when Mike decides to check in the low jack, I check it as well for deception and Mariano does not take the bait. He checks it back. River now comes a 10. So the board is paired and Mike in the low jack just shoves all in. Wow, I did not see this one coming and it's a total of $5,675 total. Oh man, not a fun spot to be in. It's a very weird hand as played. I think it's really tough to have Mariano to act behind me as well, but I do have to assume that ace queen is just the best hand here by far. Against someone who checked it back twice on the flop and turn, I just can't imagine Mariano to have a very strong hand here. And yeah, so for those reasons, I decided to side call. I don't really love the specific spot against Mike here, but I think ace queen is just way too strong to fold and seems like a sin to do so. So uh, I'm gonna make the call here and Mariano side calls as well. Oh, I must think I'm totally dead. Mike ends up showing the 10 nine of hearts. I snap fold and Mariano ends up telling us he had ace queen as well. So wow, nice hand, Mike. He triples the hell up and I'm going to get out of my seat. What a night this has been for me. All right, guys, we are wrapping up this session. Hmm, I can't say it was the best one. We played for nine hours today. Uh, that's gonna wrap up the quick little LA stint we had here. Always love playing high stakes cash games. Big thank you to Mariano for hosting me. Let's go over the numbers, because I'm sure he loved having me, because I was in the game for 130, with three zeros after that. And the grand total of how much I cashed out is for 77,325. That is an L of over $50,000. Call it sponsored by Nick Airball, maybe. This whole entire session and maybe the next couple sessions sponsored by him. Swings are high, granted. I did it to myself because I tried bluffing a lot. But, you know, when you don't make any hands the whole session for nine hours, sometimes get a bluff a little bit. So um, things didn't go my way. This loss hurts a little bit less, obviously because of how much I won last session. But here we are with a big L. But those are the swings that we sign up for in these high stakes cash games. Wish us better luck next time. Let me know what you guys think about these videos. Hit that like button. Always much appreciated for you guys tuning in all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.